The next item that we'll be demonstrating today is the changes in the processing of prepayments and payments on a sales order. In 2020, uh, R2 users that do not have access to the payments and application screen and receivables can now manage payments and prepayments on a sales order. Users can now choose payment or prepayment on the payments tab and a new window will appear that will allow them to manage payment details and that's a new window that you can see there in the slide. This will create a new payment and applications transaction in the receivables module with a status of balanced. This will allow a manager or something along those lines to address this item later on. So this is for a customer whose default payment method is a check and then this is for a default customer uh, whose payment is, default payment method is for credit card. And again, when we demonstrate, we always show this authorized, and this is where this is going to be shown. So it is important that we look at that today. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call up transaction sales order 5802. And Alta Ace is my customer here. And I can see there's some items on there. And if I want to do a uh, prepayment, I can go onto the payments tab. And when I choose to create prepayment, in previous versions, folks, this would actually launch the payments and applications window. And if you did not have access to that window, you could not record a payment. So what we're providing you now is an intermediary uh, window, something called create payment. I'm going to go ahead and change this for just a moment. So we're going to go and we'll call it deposit. Right? I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right. So now what this is doing, it's actually creating a transaction that we'll see here in just a moment, but it's also updated my sales order on build amount 500, unpaid balance 300. On the totals tab, you'll still see the same roll forward. All right, and on the payments tab, I can actually drill back to see the payments and application that was created, but note it's in balanced mode, so this is going to afford the controller, the accounting manager, whomever, to review that transaction before we release it. And if they had a question on the order, they can actually access that order directly from here. So that's some very neat functionality. Um, the other thing that we're providing here is if I go to my next item, number 5803, is with a credit card customer. Again, so the same type of thing, what we're going to do is when we create the prepayment, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and authorize this so we're getting uh, authorization. But when I add that particular item, if you look, same item here, but look, because it's a credit card transaction, now what do I have? I have pending processing. I have payment reference. I have um, uh, authorization status or a um, status here of pre-authorized. So, again, a little bit different than what we're used to, but I think, you know, from a usability standpoint, it's, it's really great. It gives us the opportunity to enter um, transactions where our prepayments were normally we've not been able to do that.